And how far are you willing to go for your team? Find out the absurd stories and wildest follies of NFL fans. But before you do that, don't forget to sign up for Go to Football. And here's the story of Jeff Lanham. This charming gentleman is the owner of a restaurant and a die-hard fan of the Bengals. How far is Jeff willing to go for his team, you may ask? Well, in 2019, the Bengals didn't start the season on the right foot. In fact, they strung together a series of defeats, losing their first four games of the season. Disappointed fans wondered when this streak of losses would end, but not our beloved Jeff. This cheerful fan decided to live on the roof of his own restaurant until the Bengals ended this streak of defeats and won their first game. What a passion. What a great fan. I know what you're thinking. Surely the team must have given their all to bring home the victory. Well, no. Jeff remained on that roof for almost two months, 57 days to be precise, even celebrating Thanksgiving up there with his family. And then the unexpected happened. The Bengals won. After a string of nine losses, they beat the Jets, and our great Jeff could finally return home. Fans can be really enthusiastic, but sometimes the celebrations go a bit too far. Just ask the fans in Philadelphia. In 2018, the Eagles achieved the impossible. After an overwhelming run in the playoffs, they reached the Super Bowl. The fearsome Patriots would be the ones to challenge Philadelphia for the title. With an incredible performance, the Eagles won the Super Bowl and gave the city its first championship ever. The joy was uncontrollable, literally uncontrollable. Thousands of fans took to the streets and amidst various celebrations, they destroyed the city. Windows, shops, cars, completely destroyed, causing $2 million in damages and eight arrests. Ah, what a celebration in style. You know how the most passionate and loyal fans would do anything to support their own team, right? Well, that's definitely Chiefsaholic. One of the greatest and most loyal fans of the Chiefs who has supported the team for years, following them everywhere, whether at home or away, in his iconic werewolf suit. Chiefsaholic was a true legend for the fans and the team. Pretty normal so far, isn't it? But on December 18th, 2022, during the Chiefs away game in Texas, there was an important absence, that of Chiefsaholic. The confused fans began to wonder where the number one fan of the Chiefs was. The answer, absurd as it may seem, is in jail. Yes, you heard it right. While following the team in Texas, Chief Saholic had thought it wise to rob a bank, and the mistake was doing it while wearing a wolf mask. Come on, guys, following the team across the country isn't cheap. If for Chief Saholic, only police intervention could stop his passion for the Chiefs, the next fan would require none other than the FBI. Yes, them with their shiny badges and probably Ray-Bans. This is the story of Mauricio Ortega and Tom Brady. In 2017, Brady won his fifth Super Bowl. Jubilant celebrations, interviews and all. Upon returning to the locker room, Brady noticed that his game-worn jersey was stolen. As he later said, it wasn't the first time. It had already happened a few years before. Fans, local police and the FBI all worked together to find the lost memento. Thanks to security cameras, our own Arsene Lupin was caught red-handed. The FBI found Brady's jersey and many other memorabilia in Mexico at the home of Mauricio Ortega, who was attempting to sell them online to some fan. The stolen items were estimated to be worth over a million dollars. Nice try, Mauricio. There are people who ruin their lives by robbing a bank, some by stealing from Tom Brady. And then there's Mattress Mac, who did it by betting on the wrong team. Jim Mackingvale is the owner of a big mattress store, and business is booming. There's only one small hiccup. Mattress Mac has a passion for betting. A few years ago, he bet $2 million on the Patriots' victory and won $3.4 million. Great bet, Mac. But fortune turns, and in 2022, Mattress Mac upped the ante and decided to place the biggest bet ever, $9.50 million. Wow, $9.5 million, really? Anyway, Mattress Mac bet everything on the Bengals to beat the Rams. The Rams win. We're sorry, Mr. Mattress. You were just inches away from heaven but sometimes fate can be truly cruel. Well, guys, that's it for today. Sometimes our passion for this sport makes us do crazy things, or maybe sometimes we are just a little bizarre ourselves. But one thing is for sure, football has the best fans in the world. What about you? What was the craziest thing you've done to support your team? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to Go to Football, the channel made by fans for fans.